Alright, today on Socially Numb, our video is going to be looking at finishing our touchscreen Raspberry Pi 3 using the default settings. You can see the mouse works, everything works here. I can go ahead and load up the internet browser on my screen. And everything works by default. All the touch, I never set up a keyboard or anything. I just installed the default Raspbian image with pixel onto my flash drive. It's fairly quick to get up and running. The loading boot time the first time takes a little bit of time. I did split this video up so I do have some jump cuts showing how the touchscreen itself fits into my case and how I have the power split. But enjoy this video. The Raspberry Pi 3 has been pretty cool. It doesn't run as hot as the Raspberry Pi 2. A little bit more flexible a lot more powerful and quicker than running. So, check it out, please subscribe, and here we go. I just wanted to show the first version of what the case look, look, looks like before I put the Raspberry Pi 3 in. You can see I used the splitter. The power supply goes right into the video. The video board's pretty easy to put in because you have just right here you set it into the case and then on the back you have four screws the four screws come with the case it fits the row make sure you put the ribbon through the ribbon holder and like I mentioned earlier it does block off the extra video out underneath here you can kinda of see it the silver piece right here that's the USB power out this case blocks it but it does come with the splitter and I really don't need it so it's not a big deal but if you would rather run the power out it might not be too bad I have seen some people stack a Raspberry Pi Zero on top of the video board and there you could you see the silver screws that come with it on the other side that does work that might fit in this case but I cannot fit the Raspberry Pi 3 on top stacked in this case here not enough room so the Raspberry Pi 3 itself will come right here. Um, I did put a heat sink on the bottom right here probably where it's not supposed to go. I have my operating system card in and this just goes right inside here. There are little bays for the power out and the speaker. The heat sink I put on helps kind of balance it so it works out for me and then you have two screws here to screw it in. There's two little plastic knobbies to hold it in place you also have just the front board that locks it in place as well. And like I said, if you need to, if you had a bigger heat sink, it looks like this punches out. But for mine, I don't need to do that. So, I went ahead and connected the power supply here. I'm using the 2.4 amp. If I use the 2.1 amp, it doesn't have enough power to power both the Raspberry Pi 3. I went ahead and connected the uh, ribbon for the video out and I snapped in the back piece skipped that out of the video um, but you can see here that now I have an operating system running on my machine so let's go ahead and dim the focus a little bit the touchscreen everything works by default using Raspbian pretty cool and we'll be using this little machine here to break down and do some other videos. On the back, the cool thing here with this case is it still gives me a little slot here. Might have to lighten the video so you can see it. A little slot here for the camera connection. And the camera connection then, I said before in the other video, it's a little Lego piece that connects on the front side. So you can see here, if I were to connect the camera, it's a Lego piece, you can make it right on top it fits inside the video and there you go the Raspberry Pi 3 with the smarty case and the default touch screen all setting up here on side I might have touched some things loading some other programs but everything works by default I didn't install any other drivers so thank you for watching 